Sometimes the needs of children take a back seat. They vastly outnumber adults on the planet, but at times it has become easy to not pay as much attention to them as we should. There's an account in the Bible about a time when Jesus' disciples were trying to shoo away the children that were crowding around him, and Jesus tells them very clearly not to hinder the children from coming to him. It's very evident that children were immensely important to him, and he showed it. When we look around the world, we see many situations where we have to pause and really consider if we could be doing more for children. What hindrances are in their way that are preventing them from living better lives? One in five children suffer from a mental health problem in Canada, but only one in six get the help that they require. Sometimes it could take up to a year for a child to get the help they need for a problem related to their mental health. Could you imagine waiting that long to take care of something like an ear infection or a broken arm? Our children's mental health is an area that needs our full attention, and there's lots of positive things that we can do to help them. But it starts with paying attention to them, inviting them to come to us with their needs and concerns, letting them know that we want to hear from them, modeling a pattern of openness with regards to talking about tough subjects such as mental health. The Bible says that children are gifts from God. They are precious. We need to treat them as such. It's great to have a week to focus on the mental health needs of children. There's lots being done, much progress being made towards making sure that kids get the help they need. But don't forget to pray for the well-being of our children. They are our hope. They are the future. Think on Jesus' response as all the little children crowded around him.